hey what's up everybody welcome back to another quick tutorial so in today's video we are going to creating this image gallery it is not dynamic website it's just a static web page but we have used the bootstrap for the responsiveness and we have used the fancy box let me just show you when i click on image let me just click here you can see we have the beautiful animation pop-up box we can also change the images from here and we can play the images and we can also we can also change the images from the sidebar just like that so this is a pretty cool features which you can use in your own project so before wasting more time let's jump into the project so first of all I'm gonna create a folder and this this folder will be our project folder so let's give it a name image gallery all right now i have to open this after that i'm gonna open the git page so our git page is running you can use any terminal like cmd or powershell so we have opened the project in vs code let's create the index.html and here i'm gonna type the html skeleton let's give it a title image gallery let's type the by code with sk now let's create the h1 title so we can see if our project is running or not all right so you can see our project is running on the local server now let's get back to vs code here i'm gonna create a link tag that will be for style.css we also have to add the cdn for the bootstrap and fancy box.js so let me copy that from the browser and let me paste that here all right so you can see we have the fancy box and we have the bootstrap 5 version now let's add the javascript as well so let's create custom.js and let's create that file and we need to add the cdn for the fancy box and bootstrap as well all right so let's see this in a browser if it is connected or not so you can see it is connected our font family has been changed we can also check from here so we have added all the required files all right now let me remove this here i'm going to create the header and we will be creating the nav bar here because we will be using the bootstrap nav bar you can also copy from the bootstrap official website inside that website you just have to go to the example uh, page and there you will see all the pages there so i'm going to create that from scratch all right now inside this i'm going to type the uh, svg icon and i'm just copy all these things from the bootstrap website and let's give it a name gallery so you can see we have a beautiful nav bar all right let's add the hamburger button here this button is just for the placeholder so you can see we have the added the hamburger button now the next thing we have to create the main section so i'm going to create main tag inside that we have to create the section and this section will be our hero area so let's create that
now inside this we need uh, h1 and this will be our main title and we need paragraph as well let's put the some dummy text so I'm gonna pass that here and now you can see we have the title and we have the paragraph now we have to add the background image for this container so let's do that so here let's create the background image for the container which is our hero container and I'm using the unsplash.com image you can see we got the image here so let's add some more required CSS here alright so for the hero area our CSS has been done now let's create another section here and this one will be our card images so here we will be displaying our cards so let's create that inside this div we need container and we need row Now let's create the card and let's add the shadow so you can see we have the tiny card here but uh, we have to add some more data inside that so we can see our card perfectly now let's add the anchor tag and let me just copy the URL from here and let's paste here all right so it is not showing because we just added the anchor tag so let's add this URL here alright now let's give it the alt text it is not required but if you want you can just add that so we have the image let's copy the this column three times so I'm gonna copy that and paste three times Oh, so it is looking weird let's add the width for the images let's add the hundred percent all right so now it's looking better all right so the image is showing only two times but we need that three times so let's see oh so I misspell that here now we have the three time images perfect all right so for the images we are done now let's add the fancy box functionality to the image so let me remove all the images from here instead of only one now I'm gonna add the data fancy box attribute here and let's add the value gallery all right let's give it the caption if you want you can give it or you can just leave that you can see we have the fancy box but we don't see any buttons here so we have to add that so I'm gonna using the jQuery and I'm gonna get the data fancy box attribute with the value of gallery now we have to pass the fancy box function inside that we need to pass the button array and in the button we have to show the slideshow let's add the loop false and protect it true let's save this and check again we still don't see any button so I'm gonna copy the images now let's change the category here 
this one will be sport and this one will be building let's check again now we have the swipe button we can also select from here and play button here so we are pretty much done if you like you can add more functionality to this object so just like uh, we can add the thumbs we can also add the zoom full screen and share and close so if you like you can customize this more according to your requirements now let me just add some more images here and now we are good to go so we are done here if you like our video please consider to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos see you in the next video